Hello guys, welcome to Refer UX. Myself Nimesh. Today, let's see how to configure forward proxy with Apache uh, server uh, in CentOS 7. When come to proxy, it's one type of firewalls uh, where, as you know, there are three types of firewalls, packet filtering, stateful, and proxies. Proxy is a firewall which is a more secure uh, firewall uh, which effectively protects our network resources by filtering uh, messages at the application level. Hence, these proxies are also called as application layer gateways or application level gateways. If we analyze how a proxy works, when a proxy implemented environment, when a user make a request, then that request comes to the proxy or the application level gateway. Then on behalf of the user request, this gateway do the processing or requesting the requested information and deliver to user. Hence, you should understand that since there's a third person which is called application level gateway or the proxy is working other than the normal operation, definitely a delay element would be applied. When it comes to proxies, there are mainly two types, the forward proxies as well as reverse proxy. In this tutorial, we will be focusing on configuration of forward proxy using Apache. Forward uh, proxy configuration is one of the common configuration in most of the organization in order to allow internet access to the users. In the user environment, in the user browser or operation system, the proxy configuration or proxy server information is applied. Then when a user makes a request to access the internet on behalf of the user, the proxy server or proxy forward proxy does the processing and get the information and deliver to user. Let's see how it done using Apache environment, Apache and CentOS environment. First, I will open the terminal and uh, I will uh, change my mode to super user mode. I give my password. I will clean this screen for you and then I will install Apache server. Install HTTP. Uh, uh, okay, here if you get an error like this, you need to kill uh, that uh, process which hinders you installing Apache. Oh, yeah, good to go. Now it is getting installed. Uh, depending on your internet speed, the time taken will be de decided. And uh, why we install Apache, as I mentioned, because uh, we are using the proxy uh, facility or modules there, which is coming uh, compact with the uh, Apache. Okay, Apache has been installed. Then uh, we will uh, run the Apache. Uh, it's down. CPL start. HTTP and, uh, and uh, okay, then we'll check the status of Apache its run name and I'll make it enable so that in the next run uh, it is automatically opening or are it's starting done. And uh, secondly, uh, I will uh, allow firewall uh, ports here. This page should be. Um, oops. So it's at port. Should be at port. Um, 
we are good to go. Now, uh, in, since we have installed the Apache and to check whether our relevant proxy modules are being installed, we can use this particular command. Uh, red mod proxy and uh, in this slash etc httpd con uh, actually conf dot module dot d then zero zero minus proxy dot com. When you click that, when you enter that command, if you get if you can get this kind of uh, message set of messages which are the modules which are being loaded under this proxy module, you are very good to go. Then we will uh, create our forward proxy here. And to do that, I will use the gedit command gedit slash etc slash htvdb and uh, then we will go to con d and i'll create my uh firewall as uh, dot cost that is the forward uh, proxy configuration i just created that file and there uh, i'll write my command i write i have module if module mod proxy.c library I'm calling and uh, and then I allow uh, very simple uh, two lines proxy request on then I allow Proxy via this machine is open. Proxy via. We have if module. Uh, if module uh, mod proxy. Uh -huh. And uh, that is CW will be also done. We have request and on. I think everything is okay. Then I'll save and I'll go. And uh, to make it uh, valid, I will restart the uh, uh, Apache. Restart HTTP. Now it is loading. I think that uh, ran. Yes, S was missing. Now it is nicely restarted. Uh, before moving to that, uh, let me show you uh, that this browser. Uh, if I go to, uh, if I go to uh, uh, options and type uh, proxy, we go to settings. You can see we are not. I'm not using any proxy here. And if I that's why if I go to anything like Facebook, it is moving nicely. Uh, Going to Facebook web page, and if it is go to Google, uh, and it is also nicely uh, going to uh, Google. So, because I'm not using any proxy here, and um, however, uh, and also I want to check uh, the IP address of this machine uh, that is uh, IP config. Uh, can see the IP address of VMNet is uh, this one, and uh, then I'm doing is I go to my Apache 
or other forward proxy and I'll get the IP address there. The IP address is 192.168.170.175. So I'm, I'm going here. Okay, before that, uh, let me open another terminal and uh, sorry, another tab for your information. Then I'll gain change here to super user mode. Then I uh, for you I'll open the log file. So minus x and slash x and uh, access. Okay. Now it is watching uh, any um, activity which is happening via the server. And again, if I uh, refresh this, nothing is recorded here. And uh, again, then I go here. Yeah, cross this. I go here and I go to manual proxy and I enter this 175 and I access all these things here, all other uh, HTTP or FTP, whatever. Okay, now it will put OK and then for your information, I'll show again. Then I'll enter the proxy, then uh, I'll get here, then I'll, I'll go uh, Google. And you can see immediately, uh, you can hear some log information that 192.168.176.1, which is the uh, host machine, and trying to access Google uh, via this machine. And let me go to another uh, website that is Facebook. And you can see another entry came that the same machine tries to access the Facebook using um, this uh, Facebook CDN, that is the content middle network, uh, uh, this machine. And how it happened, how it was possible, because I have given this proxy uh, configuration there, so 197175, uh, that, yeah, that machine only, that this particular host machine is accessing the uh, internet. Now, let me uh, show you, uh, allowing, uh, uh, by configuring uh, another configuration, they are to block a particular site using the uh, forward proxy. To do that, I'll again open the forward proxy. Then uh, I go here, I enter another line, which is proxy, very simple, proxy block, BLOCK block, and my, uh, I want to block facebook.com. Most of the organizations do this. Uh, Facebook.com, I want to uh, block. Then I save it. Very good. Save nicely. And I restart Apache in order to make this change valid. Okay, it is nicely config uh, restarted. Then uh, again, I'll show the uh, log file. Okay, uh, here it is the log. And uh, let me here uh, clear the log for you. And uh, and uh, I'll close this first and I'll run the log reading again. Okay, do the, uh, the, 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 the image and I'll show you that there. Okay, if I try again using Google, as you can see, uh, yeah, it's a bit like this. Uh, now, Google, I can easily go and uh, it is showing here, but if I try Facebook now, it is not loading. It says proxy server refusing. The because we, it is refusing, I have entered a rule there uh, of not allowing Facebook to go. Okay, then uh, again, if you want, I can remove that uh, barrier and I can simply uh, uh, make this commented. Okay. Uh, which is uh, no longer will be a valid one. Okay, then I will uh, run this server again and take some time sometimes. And okay, and uh,
this is done. And if I now refresh, Facebook is blocking because I have unblocked the rule uh, uh, to say Facebook should be blocked. So that is an easy way uh, to use, implement a new uh, configuration of forward proxy uh, in CentOS. In this tutorial, we did implementation and configuration of forward proxy using the proxy module in Apache server. If you learn something, please do like and share. If you want to know about future videos, please do subscribe. Till we meet again, have a great time. Thank you.